Hey guys, it's Ivory. Welcome to my channel. So today I will be testing the original makeup eraser. I don't know about you, but I have seen this ad on my Instagram for so long and it's like constantly spamming me and I feel finally caved in only because they were giving away 1 million free samples of the eraser. It claims to be the number one reusable makeup removal system in the world and that all you need to do is just use water. And that is enough to get rid of all your makeup, including waterproof makeup. I have the sample size, but the whole towel itself should last three to five years and helps save landfills of wipes and cotton balls. I have really high hopes because if if I could just use water to wipe off all my makeup thoroughly, I will be saving so much money because I go through a lot of product to take off all of my makeup. It's it's hard being me sometimes. It's a lot of work being me. But today I will be reviewing this and essentially showing you if this is actually worth purchasing. I have quite a bit of makeup on. I have waterproof makeup on. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every Wednesdays and Sundays and post occasional bonus videos throughout the week. And while you're here, be sure to also be following me on my social media. Both my Instagram as well as my Twitter are both underscore Ivory Cherry. And without wasting any more time, let's get started. So the sample looks like this. I think someone else has like my other half. So there are two sides. This is the short haired side and the short side erases all makeup with just water, waterproof mascara, eyeliner, foundation, and more. And this is the long side and that is supposed to exfoliate your skin. Both sides are really soft. It kind of just feels like a blanket. I'm gonna put up my hair because this is gonna get messy. I am wearing my PJs. That's why there's like this huge stain that I don't give a shit about and I have conveniently cropped my video so that it's right above my nipples because I'm not wearing a bra. So it says to just wet your pre-washed sample with warm water. The wetter, the better. That's what she said. In a circular motion, gently remove mascara, eyeshadow, blush, foundation, and more. And the third step is be amazed that all your makeup was just erased with water. All right, so I have really hot water here. It is steaming. I like really hot water to wash my face. I like to feel like it's burning because it makes me feel close to home because I'm sure you all know women are the spawn of Satan. So I'm just gonna dunk this all in and I'm gonna wring it out. And I'm gonna use the short side first. Quite a bit of makeup. Oh my god. I look like Mulan from that scene when she's singing Reflection. My mascara on this eye is waterproof. So that is what I'm most anxious to get to. So far, I'm pleasantly surprised. Everything is coming off really nicely. As you can see, all the makeup is getting on there. And it got my liquid lipstick really well. And this is a really long lasting liquid lip too. And now to answer the big question, does it remove waterproof mascara? Because if it does, this truly is life-changing. Because right now, to get rid of waterproof makeup for me, I use baby oil, actually. And I only rub it on my eyes. I don't rub it around my entire face. Using just a little bit of baby oil gets off my makeup so quickly. And then for the rest of my face, I will use a cleanser. And then after that, I go in with a makeup wipe, and then I go in with micellar water. So I have quite a bit of products to take off all my makeup. Oh my god, it worked. Oh my God, how is that possible? I don't think there's any mascara left. It's a little hard for me because my lashes are already black, so it's really hard to tell if there's any residue left. I'm gonna go ahead and dip again and use the other side now to exfoliate. By the way, even though the long hair side is to exfoliate, it's still incredibly soft. And I'm pressing really hard on my face and I feel nothing, it's extremely gentle. Okay, so I have done both steps. I first removed the makeup and then I exfoliated using the long haired side. I think I got everything, but to be sure, I'm gonna go in with micellar water because micellar water is the last step of my makeup removal. Every single time I think my face is clean, I add some micellar water and then I see everything that I missed and I, I wouldn't have known. So we're gonna use the micellar water and see if there's anything left.
All right, so you can see that, yes, there is still some makeup on my face that the makeup eraser has missed. I'm gonna also take a Q-tip and dip into my baby oil, and I'm gonna swipe that over my eyes just to make sure that it did, in fact, get the waterproof mascara. It's a little hard to tell because I already have black lashes, so I can't really tell if it got it all. And on my Q-tip, there's a little bit of black. It's really, really faint, but there is a little bit of residue left. And I did use the oil on both eyes. Um, this one had non-waterproof mascara and there's nothing there. There was only residue on this eye. So final thoughts, I thought this still did a really great job. Yes, there was still a little bit of makeup left over, but it, it was not a lot. And as far as getting waterproof makeup off, I mean, there was not a lot left of black like i probably could have been a little bit better about exfoliating and that would have taken it off but the amount that was left was really not significant enough for me to be like this is a bad product this can definitely replace a lot of the products i probably will still use my cellar water after just to make sure i got everything but this would replace my facial cleanser that i currently use and also my makeup wipes and it also reduces how much i use because when i use makeup wipes i don't use just one i usually use two two or three. And same thing with the micellar water. I really only had to go in once and it got rid of all the makeup. Usually with micellar water, I would have to use two or three cotton rounds to get rid of the rest of my makeup. So this also reduces a lot of waste that I would use. And of course, those types of things end up in landfills. So using this is very eco-friendly. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is worth your money because you do save quite a bit of products and it's great for your skin because you're just using water. You're not using all those chemicals that dry out your skin that may break out your skin and things that irritate your skin like you eliminate all of that and it's crazy because I don't even have the full towel I have a sample of a towel and it got rid of everything it's just I'm, I'm really mind blown I don't know what to say I'm speechless <laughs> needless to say this gets a thumbs up from me and I will definitely go ahead and purchase the full size of this so that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like it and feel free to comment down below what other types of videos you'd like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.